Hey guys, in this video I'm going to tell you what B-roll is and what it can be used for. Alright, so what is B-roll? Well, first of all, you've got what's known as A-roll. And that's basically going to be the bulk of your footage. This is the story. This is me talking to you guys. But if you're going to be looking at me all the time, you're going to get slightly bored at that. So that's where the B-roll comes into play. That's like the glue that holds your whole video together. That's going to be showing what the product is you're selling or views of the sea, of a holiday, or anything like that. As you can see from my footage here, you can use B-roll in anything, any circumstance, anything that you're using. So this can also relate into whenever you're vlogging. So you're gonna be the main person holding the camera in front of your face, vlogging away, but then you wanna might cut to a scene of uh, the beach or the sea or some drone shot just to take the tension away from yourself and um, talk over the clip that's playing. Now in creating your b-roll a lot of people like to use gimbals like a Zion crane or anything like that but you can actually use your camera handheld. You just need to be that little bit more cautious and a little bit more steady. And if you were to bring all that into post, you could have warp stabilizer on it anyway, and it would smooth that right out. Now, as you can see from this shot of myself, um, I took this kind of late on in the evening, whenever the sun was shining through a, a window from the hallway, straight into my room here where I work. Um, it was capturing all that orange glow on my face. Now this could be used in some kind of horror movie or even a dramatic scene. Now I have color graded to this, which then kind of changes the whole diversity of that scene in my opinion. Now how I got this shot was basically I held the camera straight out in front of me like this and moved it around like that. Okay, keeping myself still and holding the camera straight around like this. That was it. Brought it into warp stabilizer, bang, job was done. Now when you're doing this B-roll, the limitations are endless. There actually is no limitations in the B-roll. It's whatever you feel fit, whatever you wanna do, it's up to you. Just as long as you keep that B-roll steady and smooth, you wanna get that cinematic effect. And especially whenever you go bring it in then to color grading, it just makes it a whole lot easier. And if you want to add the warp stabilizer on it in Premiere Pro, you can, it makes it even smoother. Okay, now just one more thing before we wrap up the B-roll. You can, B-roll is not just for uh, your footage for YouTube or anything like that. You can actually sell B-roll online. And it's actually a great way to, to bring in more equity for buying more equipment, for, for instance. Um, so with that being said, all you gotta do is make sure your footage is nice and steady when creating B-roll. And it's entirely up to you how you want to portray it and how you want to portray your video to come on across. You don't wanna be stuck looking at the same person all the time when creating videos. You wanna to cut to your B-roll section and then possibly back to the person that's talking or your interview or whatever you're filming at the time. So if you enjoyed the video and you learned something today, um, why not just, just hit that like button and uh, smash the follow and you possibly will see me again tomorrow with another video. See ya.